everyone. Sorry, my lips are trapped. I keep peeling my lips. They're not in the best condition right now. But I had this for a little bit and I forgot that it was sitting over on the side. This is actually from Glamlight and it's the Hershey's collection. Yeah, I forgot it was just sitting over there. I still have more boxes to go through. Don't judge me. But I'm going to try to go through this, give you guys some swatches, or at least show you guys everything that came in this. This is not the PR package. I just, I don't, I don't have space to display any PR boxes, and some of them aren't as cute as I would want them to be for display. So there's that. So this one came with three palettes. I'm going to look up to see if it's still available online. Oops. It was literally there and I hit something else instead of glam light. Silly me. Silly, silly me. So, while I'm taking all these, because they're each in and they're individual, like little bubble wrap kind of bag slip, which is cool. That's a lot of stuff to recycle, a lot of unnecessary packaging in my opinion. Some plastic with that. Okay, so in this we got five palettes. And resealable bags, it looks like. So you can keep the bags for collecting purposes. You had the four lippies lip gloss set and a sponge. A Hershey shaped sponge, Hershey Kiss Paint. So the Glamite PR box collection is $145. The one without the PR box, it's just the collection bundle is $125, so $20 cheaper. The chocolate palette is 18, almond palette, so this one's 18, 18, so all the single ones are 18. The lip gloss set by itself, this one is $28, the sponge is $8, but the sponge is sold out currently. So there we go. The PR box collection will have an extended processing time of four to six weeks. No exceptions. So I'm like okay with that because last time I didn't get the PR box. I just got the collection bundle and I got gypped. I say gypped because I had to wait a lot longer for my stuff to come in and I only had partial stuff. And everyone who had the PR box got all of their items and I'm like you should have like inventoried for that. But that's very soft, very cute. Look at it, look at it. Hershey's Kisses brand. So I'm not going to use that because that's too cute. Too, too cute. That's going to stay a collector's item for me. It's going to stay like this cute little item. I will swatch the lippies for you guys right now. I'm looking for my makeup wipes. Where did I leave them? <laughs> Where did I leave them? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just so... It's over there. I think I swear I had it over here. Yeah, I like my shirt. I'm in a t-shirt today. Ugh. Okay, so here's my little makeup wipes. So these are glosses. That's what it said. So the first one I grabbed is... Milk chocolate? Yes, milk chocolate. I was like, how am I gonna... Ooh. That's so cute. Oh, it smells like chocolate, chocolate. Oh. So there's that. And then cookies and cream is like this pale pink. I just like my underhand. That's dyed for my hair. <laughs> Very light pastel almost pink there. Then we have special dark Ooh. very glossy and then we had this beautiful golden one which is almonds it's like very sparkly you see that that's so pretty this one's more sheer oh that is gorgeous I'm wondering if it's because of the light. There we go. So you can kind of... Yeah, there you go. 
was trying to make sure you could see the glitter or the reflex in the other gloss so we could highlight that Glamite's always coming out with really cute collections and like I've said there was only one palette I was ever 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 disappointed in from them and it was a shock that I was but we're gonna start with the more nude ones I believe just so you guys can get an idea on that so I believe it's this one this one's the dark nude shades so cute little like break it open if I could get it to actually like cut open straight here there we go so it's resealable bags it's pretty cute Okay, so we're going to try to open this. You open it from here, it's got a little right there. So get that to open up. That's cute. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got like numbers on the little sealant um, wrap there that's on the mirror. So those are those shades. It does have a mirror. This one's very reflective. Look at that. So a little plastic there. I'm probably going to save these and, um, I don't know, do something with these. Save them for something. Probably going to, like, put my gems in it. And then we're going to go with this one. That The first one was the milk chocolate. This one's going to be the milk chocolate with almonds palette. Oh, this one? Oh, I could have been opening it from the top like this. No, this one was faulty. It's not supposed to open from the top like that. Let's open this one up. Again with the plastic, cute little covering. All your information on the back. Same thing with the top. Ooh. So, same with the little plastic with numbers for the shades. And that's what this one looks like. So this one's um, got some golden in it. And it's lighter browns. So for a nude shade. The next one I'm going to go in with. We'll do. We'll do the pink one. Lava cake palette. I could have literally just. I'm trying to figure. I, could, I didn't have to rip it. I didn't have to. So I didn't have to. Because look. So if you're like me and you don't have to rip your bags, apparently, you can just pull them open. Or, oh yeah, you're going to just pull them open. Gosh darn it, Mom. Sad. But we're going to open it up. Like this. Ooh, that that shimmer shade right there that one is calling my name wow that's gorgeous so so oh my goodness oh wow mm. that one that one that one will do it mm -hmm. beautiful and then we'll do the blue one now that i realize you just open it from the top so this one's the cookies and cream palette This one's very nice, pretty as well. The shimmer didn't take me as back as the other one did. Then the purple one. You didn't have to cut it more. Now I've aggravated it myself. So special dark is the purple one. Same thing, same info. And these are those shades. Yeah, the only one that really, really caught me was that pink one. That one was the top of the line. So gorgeous. So pretty. So, give me a second. I'm going to go grab my other phone so I can come up with, like, an idea, kind of, what I might want to do. Maybe I can do... Or maybe I just come... I don't know. I don't know. Like, give me just a second. First, I'm going to put these up, grab my phone, and see if I can brainstorm with some inspiration or something. For all, not all of these, because the, the nudes, I'm not going to use the nude ones. So give me just a second. 
Okay, so I think I have something. <laughs> Maybe. We're going to attempt it, okay? We're going to see what this turns out like. So we're going to go in with the pink first. This pink right here. And I'm going to go in with a... I don't want to make it too thick, that's the issue. So I'm going to go in with this lighting brush. I'm going to go in with this one. And like I said, they don't exactly have names, they just have numbers. And their mirrors have the little sticky wrap on them. That. So let me make a line, my normal usual line. Like this. not really pi as pigmented as I'm used to when they're, they're mattes. I'm usually like expecting more opaqueness kind of. I did use my e.l.f. putty eye primer today for this though. I mean that might make a difference. So I'm doing that and then we're going in with this purple. The purple palette. And same thing, I'm going to try to take off the the bit of... Getting this um, plastic off the mirror is always such a hassle for me. So that's the numbers with the names. I'm trying to get the actual peely off. Oh my goodness. It is on there, on there. And because of this, I do want to go in. I want to do this lighter purple right here, that lavender shade right there. And I'm going to use that to kind of diffuse the top of this. Do you see that? Do you hear Booby up there? So we have that going on. Not exactly my favorite thing going on, but it is what it is. So now for the lid. I'm going with a flat brush. Or as flat as I can find one, or at least try to find one. And I'm going to do this purple. This one. And I'm going to do it. on the innermost section of my eye. Okay, now that's the pigmentation I expect. So, bringing it over. Pretty, like two thirds of the way. And then I do wanna go in with this, this one. This darker shade in the center. And continue with that shade a bit further like that and then for the final shade I think I want to use a blue this dark navy blue right there so let's try this again getting out the that protected sleeve with the numbers that tell you exactly what shades you're using one two three four which is cool. I understand coming up with shade names with this many is pretty taxing on someone. So the numbers is cool. Not that I ever really read the names out anyway, right? So, let's get that off. 
And then we will finish off, like I said, with that dark navy blue right there. My eye got itchy, you guys. Oh! Oh! So on the very outer edge, we're doing this navy blue. Pat, pat, pat. I got a little... Got a little iffy here towards the end. So I'm going to switch out to a liner brush. So I can actually get these lines nice and sharp and clean. So I'm going to try to get that like this. Really get the pigmentation in there. I guess I really try and then it like says no on me. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of this purple. Because it's not really. There we go. Really having the packet on. I'm just retouching all of my eyeshadows, you guys. That's all I'm doing. Just because I'm paranoid about it. So we have that. That beautifulness going on. And... Oh, my phone. And then in the... That line right there that I left, I actually do want to go in... I'm going to do the icy color. I'm going to do this one. Let's see what this looks like. bringing it around like so Awesome, awesome. Now, I want to do what are we going to do for the bottom, you guys? Purple? Should we do purple? Should we do a light purple? A light blue? I think we're um, I think on the bottom We're going to do this dark, dark one. That's a strong burgundy. I like that one. And then we're going to do this light one. <laughs> do I know what I'm doing? No, of course I don't. I'm bringing it over and for the center just for a little highlight I think I'm gonna do this one okay and then for the inner corner because of the fact that I know it's going to be in your face bright I'm gonna do that pink from earlier that beautiful shade that I am like already obsessed with that one. Oh, I got to. I have to. Like that is such a pretty shade. Like the reflex in that. Oh. 
Okay, so now I want an under brow highlight. So I'm going to look at the other neutral ones, neutral palettes. That might be what I use these for. See, because that one has that shade right there that's actually quite pretty. And this one's got that golden shade. Yeah, that one, that one's got those two that I'm for under the brow. What should I do for under the brow? I think I'm actually going to go with this one. It's coppery tone. It's blending into my skin, which is nice. Just a touch. And then I'm going to make sure this blend isn't so these colors need to blend more in my opinion because it looks really harsh. So I do want to add something, some definition or something. This is the difficult part where you're like, is it going to be too much or is it enough? Is it going to be too much or is it enough? So it should be purple. I think it's going to be purple. I think it's going to be this one. I think I'm actually going to go in and add some of this to my brow. Just because, I don't know, it feels like there's something missing to this look. Because it is a strong look. There we go. Yeah, I feel like it balances it out. Don't judge me. Please. Okay, so I'm going to finish up with the lashes and then fix up my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it. This is the final look on the eyes at least. I feel like my eyes are uneven again. So I'm using the magnetic um foaming lashes from Ali. Not, I don't want to say Alier, but Font Beauty. It says magnetic foaming lashes, which is funny because um I don't yeah it's Font Beauty, but they're magnetic lashes, and I used their eyeliner from it. So we'll see how these hold up. We will see. Baby's getting ready to just burst into that door. Mm, for the lips, I guess we can do one of these. These these don't really like. I don't really think they go with the look. But we're gonna do it. We'll do this one. The milk chocolate one. It's just... There isn't any color to it by itself. And then I didn't add any specific color either. So if you put it on by itself, that's what that looks like. I'm like, are, are my lips still there like unevenly colored? I do have that scar going on now. But yes. So um I don't I have like I'll give it an eight. Eight, okay. Um I have a little mixed feelings on the eyeshadow. I feel like the pink one kinda wasn't as opaque as I am used to them being. I feel like you would probably have to really pack on the color to get it to go. So but that one I like that one by itself is so beautiful. Like I I would buy the whole palette just for that one shade. <laughs> just for that one shade. The other ones I look really nice and cute as well. I can't speak for the opacity on these the blending was a bit tough this time it wasn't exactly like between these two it worked out but when it came to these two which are from the same palette it wasn't the easiest they didn't really want to meld together and they still kind of don't i really had to go in and like 
really put some effort into it. But these are cute. They're nice little monochromatic palettes. They have the nice cute little Hershey's Kisses string on there and everything. And the shades are nice. So overall, $18 for the palette. I mean, it's not bad. It's $4 more than the, um, you get three, you get six shades for $18. The ColourPop ones, you get nine shades for 12 to 15 so it's about the same, no, yeah, it's about in the same price range, not really. Like the ColourPop ones, if you wanted monochromatic, you'd probably get a better value out of those. And those are really pigmented, really opaque, easy to blend. On this collection, it's not my favorite. It's really cute overall, but it definitely is not the kind of quality that I was expecting. I needed, you know, I expected a little higher quality, especially since it's a collection with Hershey's and stuff. Just because, you know, it's a big name and you really want to represent that company. Um, I will probably try to do a monochromatic look with each palette as the week goes by or something. I still have some other videos I have to film. But I look forward to testing more of this out. I will try these lip glosses on top of other lippies. And once we get later in the week, like I said, today's raining. So I'm not really into like wanting to do a big look because it's just, I'm going to get rained on and... It's just going to become a mess. But, um, yeah. I hope you enjoy the little previews and stuff. Let me know if you want just a swatch video of the palettes or something. I'll do that right quick. All of this could be simple stuff. But, either way, I hope you enjoy the look. I hope you're having a good day. I hope it's not raining where you are. Or if you do like the rain, I hope you had a nice little drizzled, soft, relaxing. Something like that. Today's my last day of day off before I have to go back to work. So I'm going to enjoy it by cooking, apparently. <laughs> but I'll see you in my next video. Bye!